Well, there was a celebration in Hamlin that people still talk about. The old church bell rang and the Pied Piper was cheered from every rooftop. The people rejoiced. The Piper joined their celebration. You know, I heard about a Piper from a man in Gundestrausen. He said this Piper just played his pipe and all the bats in the city flew away. For good. That's nothing. I heard that a piper went to Hofspritzen last summer, and after he played, every fly in town disappeared. Oh. Hamlin was overjoyed to the point that there was nobody left to ring the old church bell. They were all asleep until late the next morning. I don't know about the rest of you, but I haven't slept so peacefully in years. Uh, we all slept well. But I, for one, would have slept a great deal more soundly if you hadn't made such a big mistake. What are you talking about? The rats are gone. What more do you want? We want the thousand pounds you promised to that piper. Is that all? Do you think I stayed mayor for this long by giving away money to every stranger who shows his face in town? I never intended to give him a penny. Just then, the Pied Piper entered the room. Well... I'm here to collect my fee. I'm afraid we have no fee for you. Do you mean to tell me that there isn't a thousand pounds to spare in this entire town? No, that's not exactly true. Even with all the dinners and wine and cheese and entertainment necessary to our town council, I would be lying if I said we couldn't spare a thousand pounds. Then what's the problem? No problem. No problem at all. We merely refuse to pay you. After all, the rats are all in the river. You can't bring them back. There's nothing you can do to hurt us. So we've decided to keep the money and send you on your way. So you don't need the money? We have more money than the law allows, don't we, boy? <laughs> yes, we do. We certainly do. <laughs> I see that I can't talk to you. You are a fool, but you should consider yourself lucky that you were born with a fool's face. I ask the rest of you gentlemen, did I rid this town of rats by one o'clock? Yes, yes, you did. And do I deserve the thousand-pound payment? Yes, yes, yes. So, will you pay me my just reward? No! no. You uh, might as well face it, my skinny friend. You've been taken. Why don't you give up gracefully? Hey, Piper, you want to buy a bridge? <laughs> <laughs> I want to buy a bridge. <laughs> the Pied Piper was a truly gentle soul. He helped people with their troubles wherever he went. And most of the time, people were grateful. But sometimes they thought they could trick him and then laugh him out of town. He gave the people of Hamlin one last chance. Have any of you heard of the town called Alburg? Can't say we have. What about Gluckstein or Brunwalden? No, I'm not surprised. In Alburg, they had more mice than the law allowed. I rid their town of mice. In Gluckstein, they had a pack of mad dogs that roamed the streets and kept the people in terror. I played. And the mad dogs became gentle, and the people made them pets. In Brunwalden, there were so many crows in the air that the sky was black at midday. I played, and the crows became doves. They all flew away, each in a different direction, and they brought beauty to all the world. Very heartwarming. Now, what do all these stories mean to us? We're not children, you know. You may wish you were. The point of these stories is simple. They all promised me a fair price for my services, and they all refused to pay it when I succeeded. I begged them, just as I'm begging you, but their hearts were hard. I was forced to teach them a lesson they would not forget, and they learned my lesson well. When I was done, all those towns just died away from shame. Oh, stop, or I'll bust out crying. <laughs> <laughs> you have been warned. Now you must pay a price more awful than you can imagine. 
The Pied Piper left the town council and walked slowly to the center of the street. He put the pipe to his lips and began to play. This time his music was strange and unsettling. The town council went to the window and watched, but then the mayor looked up from the street to the rest of the town. Look! Every window of every house and every shop was filled. All the people of Hamlin were watching the piper. Suddenly, he stopped. Well, glad that's over. I was getting quite a headache. Hey, I, I can't move. Nonsense. Uh, but, but I can't move. No one at the windows could move. All they could do was stand and stare. What's he trying to do? Now he can take all our money. All my money. And all my money. No, no, anything but the money. The Pied Piper was no longer interested in their money. That would teach them nothing. There were tears in his eyes as he raised up his flute for the last time. 